Hello everyone! I have a very quick little Dollar Tree haul for you guys today. Uh, mainly snacks. I got a couple other fun things, but I literally ran in to get just one specific brand of chips. Um, I absolutely love the Zaps. The Voodoo is one of my favorites, and then I'm currently obsessed with these Cajun Dill Gator Taters. They are so good. Oh my gosh, so good. They do come in two different sizes. Like, they only carry the Voodoo in my store in this size, and all of these are slightly bigger, but it's a dollar, so it is what it is. But I love these so much that I grabbed 10 of these and 12 of these. So I'm stocked up for a while. Um, but they are really great to just kind of keep on my little storage shelf, and then when we need them, I grab them and go. And I am the only one in my house that eats them. Nobody else likes them. I just, I love them. My husband hates them. Um, my son will sometimes, <clears throat> excuse me, snack on them with me, but he prefers like the little kid cheese puffs and uh, the older kids prefer Pringles, whatever. We're all very picky about our chips. So for me, getting the individual like small size, it makes more sense than getting a, a whole big bag to open at once. I also grabbed four of these. These are the Good Health Organic Baked Cheese Puffs, mac and cheese flavored. You get 2.25 ounces. They are gluten-free. And they don't expire until October of this year. And it's two and a half servings in one bag. And these are actually really good. I do not like, like, uh, puff Cheetos and stuff like that. I don't, they just taste really gross and artificial to me. The kids love them. I can't stand them, but these are really good and um, super happy to find them at Dollar Tree. So I grabbed four of these. Then from Munch, Munch Rites, I grabbed the Apple Cinnamon Baked Puffs. Y'all, these are delicious. They are so freaking good. Um, and these are good till January of next year. They are vegan and gluten-free, no nuts, no trans fat, and they're kosher. So they are really, really good. I love, I love them. They taste healthy. Um, so, you know, they're not overly sweet or anything. They're just a great little snack, and I think they are delicious. Um, I'm going to have to go back and grab some more because um, they've been a while since I just made them in there. You get three servings in each bag, and it's a three ounce bag, so it's a really good deal um, for a dollar. You can see, like, my hand, and it's it's like it's full, like right right there is where they stop. So it's it's a really good size bag. So I grabbed four of those, maybe five. I'm pretty sure it was four. And then I grabbed these. I have not tried them yet, but since I do like the mac and cheese ones, I grabbed the Munch Rites. These are the cheddar and sour cream baked puffs. So also gluten-free. These ones are not vegan because they do use the real cheese uh, in making them. So once again, you get three servings per, per container. So, uh, fingers crossed that I like these. If I don't, I know my kids will eat them, even if they're not the Cheetos that they love. At least these are healthier. <laughs> but um, I figured I would give them a shot just because I did like the mac and cheese puffs. So I got four of those as well. These I love. They are so good. Um, and I grabbed four packs. You get seven rolls in them. They are perfect, just plain or with some peanut butter on them. Um, they are gluten-free and vegan as well, so it's a really good deal for a dollar. Um, they're low-calorie snacks, and it's just a great little something to kind of have to, you know, like I said, I like to dip mine in a little peanut butter, and that's my little my little afternoon snack, one of those. Um, so I love them. They're really good, um, and I got four of these. Now this one I've already opened because I decided to snack on it and the sealed ones are now downstairs. I have a downstairs room where I keep like all my extra snacks um, in like a storage 
area um, set up, and so I uh, decided <laughs> that I was not going to be bothered to go downstairs and go get the unsealed one for the video, so you guys get to see me missing one. I love these so much. I've hauled them before. The three for a dollar is a crazy good deal. They are usually about, um, I think, 70, 70 cents to a dollar in the grocery stores for a single one. Um, I think Lidl has them for just under a dollar. So three for a dollar is, when I see them, I grab them because that's just such a good money saver right there. And I, I love them. It's literally just the seaweed and salt. And I think they are so good. I love those. Then I grabbed, I believe it was eight of these. These are the brown rice cakes with Himalayan salt, non-GMO, no preservatives. They are vegan and gluten-free. And I love them. These are also by Munchripe, so the same brand that made the apple and those. Um, I always pick these up if I can get my hands on them. I guess I love these with peanut butter. You guys, I just like, I like peanut butter on everything. And <laughs> these are really good. Um, these are also a low calorie snack. Uh, you could do these with a little hummus on them. They're just, they're very plain flavored. They're not sweet. It's just the Himalayan salt. So you can really go sweet or savory with them. They are great find, great to keep in your food storage, your cabinet for when you just need a little something something to snack on and these are good until October so I grabbed eight packs of these then I found because of course you know I can't just go in just for food I actually have to look elsewhere so I picked up one book this time this is PJ Tracy nothing stays buried it's a monkey wrench novel so I don't know much about the uh, monkey wrench um, what I gather it's like a series but I haven't read any of it I'm not sure I just grabbed it because once again it's a murder mystery crime mystery and it retailed originally for $27 so I grabbed that um, just to pick it up give it a read through see how I feel about it I have been reading through all my Dollar Tree books right now and I love it right now um, they're such good books that you can find for a dollar. Right now, I am almost with, uh, finished with Bring Me Back. Um, I hauled that several videos ago, ago and it's, it's been really good. So, excited to read this one. I picked up a birthday bag because I thought it was so cute. My little nephew is turning one. Oh my goodness, have a monster birthday. Oh god, it's just adorable, and then he's shiny on the other side. So we're gonna. Oh, I smudged it. I'll have to wipe it down. Anyways, um, we're gonna put a couple of his little presents in here. Um, I'm gonna have to go back and get an extra big bag for his big, huge present. But I just grabbed that one because it was a monster, and I thought it was adorable. Then I found this, which I was like, oh my gosh, my kids will absolutely love this. Um, you get to create over 250 virtual masks. You get seven crayons and 22 interactive coloring pages. And it connects to an app. So they color these little props. And it connects to the app. And they get to have it, like, applied to their face. And they can make the videos and stuff like that. I, I looked through all of them to see if they happen to have the zoo one. I didn't see it. It was just this one at my Dollar Tree. So I'm going to keep an eye out. But it works with both Google and Apple. And I was like, this, this will keep them entertained for quite a while because they love doing ridiculous stuff like this, like the um, Snapchat filters and stuff. So for a dollar, yeah, you, you can't beat that. And last but not least, I picked these up. You guys know I love their puzzles. And I hit the puzzle. They must have just released like a bunch of more prints. Or my Dollar Tree is just now getting the prints because for since Christmas it's been the same for the puzzle bug but I found this one which is pizza the puzzle bug 500 pieces are my favorite it's the only ones that I do um, I found this pizza it'll focus there we go I found 
this breakfast set up. That looks so good. I found another cake base or cake themed, Ooh, cake themed puzzle. Some of these get really challenging y'all and it's a lot of fun to try and put them together. Like this one's going to be a pain in the butt. But there we go. All the like gummies. Did anybody ever eat those as a kid? Like, I always wanted to and I never got, never got to. I did eat the frogs and the sharks. I hate gummy snacks now, but I think if I ever ran across the eggs, I would have to get them just so I could try them. But anyways, that's just, that's the point. I grabbed that one. Another candy one. They came out with a second coffee themed one. So you know I got that one. So cute. And then this one, I was like, oh my god, no way. Look at it. It's skulls. It's skulls. I could not freaking believe it. This just made my heart so happy. I was like, yay. <laughs> so I grabbed it. Um, the beautiful little sugar skulls. Um, so I normally stick to the, the food. But y'all know it's got skulls on it. So I'm going to have to have to attempt to put it together. So pretty excited about that. So anyways, that is all I grabbed in this Dollar Tree haul. Like I said, I went in literally just to get snacks. And of course, you end up finding extra things that you don't need. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. Thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to like, leave me a comment, and subscribe so that we can hang out together more and more often. And I will talk to you guys later.